All right, welcome to the back of my house with Patty Bones. We are back for one of the most important sessions that I can talk to you about, which is the importance of grapefruit. I'm lucky enough to have a beautiful, sweet grapefruit tree in the back of my yard that typically gets anywhere from two or 300 grapefruits a year. And we still have some on the tree that we're picking. It's late in the season here in Scottsdale, late April, but we're still picking them. Great for a terrific fresh glass of grapefruit juice in the morning or during this COVID-19 as the stress levels are increasing for a really tasty Paloma or Greyhound on the ice at the end of the afternoon after a long day. You can see here I've got the grapefruit tree up here and we're going to pick some of these grapefruit out of it using this pole that we picked up at the store. So you just stick that pole up there and you grab onto the grapefruit. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We got one coming down right here. Nice fresh grapefruit. Let's try to get a couple more if we can. Whoa, you got to catch them sometimes. It's like baseball. Pretty good. We'll get a total of eight to get our drinks done. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. I've got these great grapefruits that I pulled off my tree. Now, these ones are yellow, but I can tell you right now, when we open them up, the taste of them and the color, much more of a ruby red type grapefruit. You know, I've got this friend of mine, his name's Jay Bones. He lives down in Hotlanta, and he loves these things called limeades with vodka. Well, or no, excuse me, tequila. The limeades with the tequila. Well, anyhow, I'm gonna try to get him out here when this COVID-19 thing's all done with, so we can have a beautiful Paloma that I was talking to you about earlier with these beautiful red ruby grab fruits that I have off my tree here. So first thing we need to do here is literally just slice it down the middle. Look at that, you got that beautiful looking grapefruit right there. Now what we're gonna do is we, everybody has got a regular hand juicer. I've got a little electrical one here. You're gonna take your measuring cup just as a place to put your juice as it comes out. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using the electric juicer here to get these grapefruits juiced out. Now look at that, all that juice is just coming right out into my cup here. Now, typically to get a full craft of grapefruit juice, I'm using about six to eight large size grapefruits. And you'll probably have to, you wanna get them like that so they're all cleaned out with the juice there. I got a little bit on the edge here that I can still get here, so I'm gonna go back and get that. So we're done, a little bit more, there we go. Got to have that grapefruit juice for the bones when he comes visiting from Hotlanta. Anyhow, what you end up going to have here is you're going to end up getting some, a lot of pulp and uh, other things on the top there. You want to make sure that you're going to have, probably have to clean that out a couple of times as you're doing your juicer, just so you can get a good juice flow coming out of the juicer now. But this is a pretty easy process. All you're going to do is put your hands down here. If you have a hand juicer again, same thing, you're going to move it back and forth. But great, terrific, refreshing grapefruit juice. That you can use again, like I said, breakfast, perfect with some, some eggs. Whoa, that thing just got all crazy there and went after me. So you gotta be careful with these juicers. They have a mind of their own sometimes. Anyhow, again, grapefruit juice, pour it into a nice pitcher, put it into the refrigerator, let it sit overnight. Next day, you're gonna have beautiful grapefruit juice for your morning, or more importantly, for that afternoon cocktail when you need one. 